My name is Sifu David A. Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the new Martial Revolution and the Lion's Roar Martial Arts System. On here, you're going to find uh, weekly lessons introducing you to the method. Uh, we're going to start off with some basic technique and keep building on it, building on it, building on it. You'll have eventually an entire curriculum on here. And later on, what we'll do is we'll be offering seminars if you want to train this in person. And uh, at those seminars, there'll also be certification. So if you want to get a uh, certification and a ranking through this. Okay, so, you know, increasingly, like I said, I, you know, I, I keep reintroducing more traditional stuff back into the program. But I become more and more convinced that the only way you'll ever ever get anybody to do traditional techniques is to start them off with basic stuff, gloves on, and getting used to getting hit. In other words, if you try to do advanced stuff from the first time, and it's like jab, and you're going like, oh, I've never, never seen this shit before. No. You, you first learn to like, if nothing more, right? You go, jab, oh, I'm just getting used to seeing punches coming at me. And getting used to what real range is. I'm not blocking a jab that's there. I'm blocking a jab or a cross or whatever it is that's really going to hit me. Then I can start doing Right? In other words, again, it's, it's to give me the courage, too, because to make the traditional techniques work, I have to at least stand my ground, if not move forward. Right? Run them down, you know, like that Chinese character I talk about. Right? Go and check Okay, good. Can you hit me? I was hoping it wouldn't hit me too hard, but... Don't, don't, don't do that. We're wearing gloves. The reason I like gloves is that you feel, like, more comfortable. It's human nature. Everybody tells me to train hard without gloves. They're lying. I don't care what they say, they're lying. You don't go like up to your friend and go, oh, just don't do it. I was very light. That was very light. So it's not very light. But, but that was very light. But in other words, I can't do a thousand reps of that and not end up bullying his limit. It's not going to happen. And you know what you need to get good? At least a thousand reps. Right? The Chinese saying is 10,000. There you go. It's the beginning of the right? Right? If you're not training with gloves, if you're not training with a mouthpiece, if you're not training with protective equipment, the chances of you consistently training to develop these skills, you know, you're doing a fucking yard all the time, right? So that's, that's one. Um, like I said, it's getting used to getting hit. You know, hit me and getting used to getting hit. Right? If you have consistent injuries all the time, that's not a way to live a modern life. The second thing also is that if I break my fingers in every class, how many classes am I going to attend? <laughs> we wear gloves and shin guards and we spar headgear and mouthpieces. So we can go hard, we can go live. And we can still get up and then come back and do it the next day, right? You do jujitsu, right? If I broke your arm every time we did arm bar, how much jujitsu would we do? That would be the last class. <laughs> <laughs> right? What we can do though is we can roll around and every time I get you in a submission, what do you do? Tap. You tap, right? And then what happens? We get up and start we do it over. again. Start all over again. It's the same concept. The second thing is you're going to make mistakes. If you never make mistakes, you're not drilling right. And you're not learning what a fight is like. Because what's going to happen as a fight is you're going to make a mistake. And if you freeze in that mistake, you're done. That's it. That's, that's why a lot of fights are over like that. In the street, right? If you guys are talking, one guy decides to punch. And if the other guy doesn't respond, the other guy just keeps punching and then they end the, it's over. I think I talked about this yesterday when I said that, you know, uh, when we were doing the pad work and we were doing the shielding, I said shield, shield as opposed to just sort of covering up, that you want active blocking as opposed to passive blocking, you know, just sort of going, oh, I don't want to get hit, I'm scared, I'm just going to like hide, because it doesn't, it doesn't put you in a position to answer. In other words, when you go one, two, you're back here, you can fire your, your punches back. Same thing when you're parrying, one, two, you're in a position to then fire more stuff back. Whereas if you just sort of shield up, it doesn't really work. 
So I prefer as it for the beginners to get you used to pretty quickly doing this parry thing. Because you can see it leaves me in a position to answer. I'm being active. I'm real open for the counter punches. 